Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Libra and Sun, Moon and Rising Sign for the month of uh, um, the month of all September 2017. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is um, a time when we're celebrating um, the last month of the third quarter. Okay, let's get it together. Um, Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support, your like and shares. And um, if this is their first time, please um, subscribe to our channel. I want to say to you, Librans, um, thank you so much. Um, each and every person has been contributing so much to my channel, and I'm so grateful. Okay, this month is going to be the month of the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to be a fire month. So, um, it's going to be a month where it's the beginning of your zodiac energy vibration for the year 2017 because you have not begin the year 2017 okay now is the time in the third week that you liberals are going to actually begin the year of 2017 okay so let's look and focus and see what to expect in this year as we look at the year 2017 it is going to be um, a changing of the guards okay so we start the energy vibration of the month of September with the hurt energy and we ends it with the hair and zodiac energy so this is going to be good um, for you liberals as we look forward in this year it's going to be in this month it's going to be the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is going to help you guys to bring you a lot of luck success and that sort of a thing so this is going to be good okay let's see what else the Libran has for this month let's see what else the Libras have for this month because I'm seeing that you're working with a lot of fire energy a lot of fire energy a lot of whatever is happening there's a lot of fire energies happening there okay okay so we are going to take a positive look to see what is going on okay um in this month of september we have four weeks four weeks in this month of september whatever is happening it's the energy vibration of four weeks these four weeks we have the first week with the energy vibration which is going to be of uh, um um water which is the energy of judgment and then we're going to have the energy of the heart and then we're going to have the energy of hair which starts the beginning of your zodiac energy and then we're going to end up with the energy of earth your focus in this month of September is going to be the focus of the night of once and this energy of the night of one seems to be an energy that has been going on for a very long time for a certain aspect and commune and, and um, this night of once is really someone who is going with ambition is going forward with ambition so whatever the situation is in your life it is a sense of you moving forward in your life with ambition and this is going to be positive if you use it in a positive way okay let's look at the first week in the first week you have the energy vibration of poise the energy vibration of poise is when you have reached to a place that you have gone through so much and you have come out um, um, door through so much um, things that is happening you will see that a change is about to come there is a star at the end of her fingers it's as if she is waving up and she's holding up the hands of the star and whatever you have gone through you can pose and know that you have made it through at the end so whatever the situation was in August you will understand that you can pose and you have made it through as we look at the helping card and the card that is here we have the energy of the seven of ones this energy of the seven of ones obviously some people have success some people have come through a dark period in their life and they're posing but yet still the energies of lower energies and people who were there not 
being positive for them they're holding them at harm's guard so there you have this energy of the seven of wands you're trying to protect yourself from whatever situation that there was and that you have created for yourself because um, there is so much that you have gone through because of certain aspect you have chosen a direction that has bring you to a lot of stuff in your life at the end of the day you have the energy of the world which is a positive energy this is a good positive energy so whatsoever has been happening and has been taking place whatever you have overcome you are going to be a success in whatever endeavor and this is for the people who have been vibrating on a higher energy vibration who have been really dealing with situation in, in, in a positive way and in the way of love this is the energy that is going to come out at the end of the day so here we are again I cannot um, um, focus on it so much you need to understand your air sign you are here with the passion the wants energy so it's 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 good in the first week because the week, first week is the energy vibration of judgment which brings you all of these things coming together as we look at the second week um, the second week of uh, um, uh, September for you is uh, uh, chaos and conflicts chaos on conflicts okay whatever the situation is there seems to be a lot of chaotic situation around you in the third the second week of of September whatever the situation is these chaos and conflicts have to happen so that a balance can come in so whatever the situation is with this chaos and conflicts these situation have to happen around you because you are a liberant and you're working out karmas with other zodiac energies and these conflicts and a chaos and conflicts needs to um, work out so that you can be in a better place which you're healing the energy vibration the next energy that we have is the energy of uh, the three of ones so what is happening is that you are walking away from this chaos and conflicts in the third week okay so a lot of people just a lot of people and the energy vibration in the third week is a good time to connect with the ascendance masters because they carry the 33 energy vibration because you have 33 and you have three so that is another focus of this month for you guys that you will be working with the ascendance masters and they will be coming in in the second week because you have the number 33 and the three of ones the three of ones is leaving all this chaos and conflicts behind you and looking for better waters forward okay you have the energy vibration of the king of pentacles ball okay and with this energy vibration of this king of pentacles you are going to realize that you are moving forward because you want to achieve certain aspects in your life for some people this man is going to come in your life as an obstacle or as a um, a situation that you need to deal with and conflicting sort of a situation that you need to deal with but yet still you're moving forward and he is standing in uh, in front of you and that means uh, that there is a situation that you have to deal with this person so you're leaving the conflicts behind for some people chaos and conflicts behind and you're moving forward some people this king of pentacles will help you so this is a taurus a virgo or a capricorn man that is going to come in your life it can be a whim a woman also but i'm receiving the energy vibration of a masculine person someone who is very powerful so they can help you um, on your new journey forward so look out for this person as we move forward we have in the third week when third week is going to be the energy vibration of um, the um, uh, hair energy and you have a breed three times breed because sometimes we stop breathing 
even when I'm doing these readings, I'm getting a lot of hair in my chest because I, I constantly go in and go in because I want to get through the time. You need to breathe in this first week because it's the first week of the first year, the first week of the year 2017 for the zodiac energies for you, Libra. So you need, you really, really need to breathe in the third week. Oh. We have also the energy vibration of the page of once the page of once is someone coming to you bringing you a message whatever this message is it's coming from someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra so for some people it's going to affect you as an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra this person is here this person is not working on a positive energy vibration as you see how this person comes up in this energy reading it's someone who is who wants um, to um, create chaos and conflicts and pick at you and cut you open like um, the photo on this picture is somebody who is a, a very very um, uh, um, this person um, is carrying the energy vibration of a really sick mind okay so be aware of who this Queen of Swords is for some of you it can be you carrying this negative energy vibration and for some of you it can be someone of an other zodiac energy vibration as the Aries or the um, Gemini but this is a situation you're going to get a message a message is coming in and this message can be also from your spiritual family your spirit guides and angels and they're saying to you um, listen to your intuition you need to breed when you breed you connect with the energy of uh, the chakra the earth chakra okay you you take in your prana energy okay and the fourth week in the fourth week we have the energy vibration of observe observe so this is going to be a month of clearing of karmatic situation um, for a lot of people observe in the fourth week as you observe in the fourth week you have to deal with the six of cups the six of cups is a situation with a, um, a family it could be family but it could be very good friends and it could be and there's a learning situation that you need to learn there is something that you need to learn that's why they're saying observe just watch look and observe things and situations around you okay the six of cups is always a connection of past family or soul family cosmic family intergalactic and family coming in and things and things that for some people who are vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension um, you'll be connecting with your intergalactic and family and the cosmic family and um, the star seed and the beams the universal beams and for some people it's going to be what a six of cups is a situation within your family a situation around you with people and things observe because there is something that you need to learn and the eight of Pentacles is always and um, in this death is something they're saying to you there's something that you need to learn so observe everything around you just observe observe everything around you by observing we tend to realize and see things that we would not normal see um, that is happening around us just observe what is happening around us so as I recap on this month for you guys, it's really a month of changing of the guards. This is really the energy of the changing of the guards. And whatever is happening, you have the energy of the world, which is success. The best week for you guys is going to be the extremely best week is the first week of September. I have to keep on saying August. It's the first week of September is going to be the best week for you. Um, 
um, um, Librans, the best week is going to be the first week of September, which is very strange because it's actually the week of uh, uh, judgment, but yet still, but the rest of the month of September, you have chaos and then you have breed because all these chaotic things is happening around you, and you need to breed and find your energy, your inner energy and power. And the last week, it's saying observe. So, you're beginning this year 2007 and it's a year of uh, the the looked energy but you're beginning beginning this year on a note where you need to observe so your best week is going to be the first week and the number the number 33 and I see this number coming up for a lot of people so 3 and 33 is going to be your energy vibration let's see what is happening Let's see what is happening. What is happening? Let's see what is happening for your love life. Okay. There's not really a lot happening for your love life. Um, because it's all about you trying to change certain aspects and certain things uh, of who you are. Okay. So you have the Knight of Wands. And this is a, a fire sign of ambitions. Some of you want to move with ambitions in your life but some of you are being um, placent in what you're doing it is going to be a month that uh, the month is going to affect uh, a lot of you a lot of men a lot of men but it's also a month where you're going to find a balance this month is, is is a month that is going to affect so many of you men out there because it is a, a, a month where a certain aspect of yourself need to go so that you can um, um, carry your energy vibration and bring for it be better things in your life so you're going to see that certain uh, things in your life is going to change as uh, we look at um, the first um, a week um, we are trying to gather what else because if there is not love there has to be different aspect that you need to be working on in this week so when we are going to take a look to see what is it exactly that is going to happen in that week because you need um, to change your old energy vibration um, um, about all the things that is happening around you and you are going to realize that um, things are going to be happening in the first week so um, you have um, the energy of uh, obstacles obstacles that is going to come at you in the first week okay there is a situation of obstacles that is going to come to you in the first week and the second week uh, we have uh, um, um, a more um, obstacles in your re relation in the first week in the second week um, we're going to see what is going to happen in your relationship in the second week and in the second week we're going to have a great visit um, like people you're going to have communication with people you're going to be visiting people good news and successful encounters in relationship is going to be happening in the second week okay so um, you're going to be like visiting people and then all of a sudden you know good news and successful uh, encounters are going to happen so this could be a positive thing as we look at the third week uh, there is also um, situation that will be happening to you in the third week uh, in the face of love um, because whenever there is need a prominent uh, um, situation of love being in your life other situation will take place uh, and uh, um, in the third week there is going to be financial opp opportunities for a lot of people um, so there's no love but there's going to be financial opportunities for a lot of people there is going to be um, business news for a lot of people and new employee so if you are looking for a job the third week is going to be a very positive week uh, for the business people um, business news is coming in and for the rest of the people there's financial opportunity in the third week as we look at the fourth week let's see what is going to happen because um, 
the energy of love is not there so we are going to the the, the, the fourth week going to have the fourth week is going to affect the people between the ages of 18 and 35 there is a lot of focus on you guys in the fourth week so whoever you are in you're between the ages of 18 and 35 you're going to see a lot of focus a lot of things that is going to be happening and uh, um, with that situation um, in the fourth week uh, um, <laughs> there is going to be problems with your sex life <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> and um, there is also going to be a forgetfulness um, peaceful endings are going to happen and uh, um, some of the men are going to be looking for divorce okay so um, again uh, in the energy vibration of love uh, in the fourth week uh, there is going to be um, problems in some people's sex life there is going to be forget forgetfulness people are going to be forgetting certain things and um, there is going to be peaceful endings to whatever quarrels that you had with your partner and some men are going to be asking for divorce so this is really um, something each week carries uh, the energy vibration of this love energy that is uh, so powerful but yet so strange but whenever there's no love there's always situation that uh, is uh, um, about to take place in your life okay so as you look at this reading things are going to be improving things will improve whatever is happening in your love life things will improve it's not a question but it will it will take some time but it will improve in the end whatever the situation is but in your business life some of you are going to be extremely successful in your business life whatever business you're doing you're going to be extremely successful in your business life and for other people there's going to be a, f a increase in your financial situation okay there's going to be an increase in your financial situation because if there is no situation of uh, the love energies there there are other aspects that uh, you need to work on and that is going to affect your life so a lot of people are going to be um, very successful in their business life and financial increase is coming in okay so this is going to be um, an aspect of uh, certain things um, that will be happening for um, most of you guys out there so this is um, a very positive positive situation and um, as I'm looking forward to see what other messages your guides and angels have for you um, let's see what other messages your guides and angels have for you um, there is going to be an establish um, establish um, business somehow because the energies of uh, the ones are here and it's always about business so there is going to be a situation of establishing businesses so a lot of you are going to um, actually wants to start your own business which is not really a bad situation you're, you're you're really really going to want to start your own business so this is going to be extremely good for um, most of you are there so it, you know it's a positive whatever is happening it's very positive because um, the first three weeks there is the energy vibration of the ones and you end up uh, the month with the energy vibration of the cup so and you have uh, an ambitious so now I understand where this reading is going is it's all about you bringing in and changing certain energy vibration around you because you're looking forward for um, you know establishing businesses for you so here we go we are going to look at what is the zodiac energies what is um, the vibrational energies we're moving on to see what is the vibrational energies for the Librans in this month of September and we have I am a vibrational being vibrational I am empathy and desire and it says you live in a vibrational universe that is managed by the law of attraction the law of attraction is bringing vibration that are alike together and so it is important for you to acknowledge that you are vibrate you are a vibrational being 
constantly emerge um, in in vibration signal of desire and to and when from your human form you offer a vibration of what you want because you want what you didn't want so no what you do want you cannot contemplate any subject without equally contemplating of what and the unwarranted appearing a virtue <laughs> um, vibrational in your experience okay this 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 is this is a lot and this is a really um, very complicated if you don't understand it and it's uh, the vibration of what you want because you know what you don't want so you know what you do want you cannot contemplate any subjects without equal com component of wanted and unwanted appearing vibrationally in your experience okay so this is surely something to think about what I've just read for you guys it is surely something to think about what we're doing right now is that we are before we go to the energy vibration of um, working with the um, the zodiac the Sun moon and rising sign we are going to look and see what the ascendance masters are saying because we just had the vibrational energies for the month for you and now we're looking and see what um, ascendant masters what message is here for the Librans what message is here for the Librans Lady Portia Lady Portia this is good Lady Portia is here and Lady Portia is known as the goddess of justice as a Lord of Karma she tempers justice with mercies and balance in order to hack with these golden quality you must let go of your own projection um, projection and uh, and prosia and see the old picture when you receive this card lady Pusher is calling on you to review an aspect of your life or relationship to bring it fully in the fifth dimensional be generous hearted open-minded and fair and step aside from judgmental and then your ascension part will be showered with gold I am fair open-hearted and non-judgmental so this is going to be your affirmation for this month you liberals I am fair minded open-hearted and non-judgmental this is a wonderful wonderful energies to bring in because this a lot of us are judgmental and we should stop being judgmental because we can't judge other people because of certain aspects that they have people are people we need to understand that we need to learn that we can't change people for who they are we just have to accept them as um, they come okay um, it's not one of the easiest thing but who are we to judge anyone okay all right we are going to move on to the energy vibration of the zodiac energies and let's see what is going to be coming up for um, the sun sign um, the sun sign um, librans um, what planetary system is going to come be working with the sun sign librans in this month of September let's see what is happening okay um, let's see what is happening what zodiac energies zodiac energies are going to be helping who are the zodiac sign that is going to be helping you liberals that's wonderful okay here we go for the sun sign people remember the sun sign people are the people who were born in the day okay so if you were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are a sun sign person so uh, this is a uh, good okay let's look and see what is happening okay you are a sun sign person and you'll be working with the planet of uh, 
um, Neptune is that Neptune coming back up again um, I think so you'll be working with a planet of uh, yeah it's Neptune Neptune the planet of Neptune oh my gosh so Neptune is coming back up again it's not a question it's here we have to deal with Neptune it is the psychic um, the inner planes the um, guides and angels from the inner planes that are coming out and this planet is trying to awaken you and uh, trying to give you um, erratic information that you need to work on to move on then we have the Aquarians who are very psychic people who works with um, the spirit world because they're water sign and they're one of the water sign out of all the world the they are air sign and uh, they are your sister so a lot of Aquarians will be working with you liberants in the month of September then we have the fire sign of of, um, the Sagittarians and the Sagittarians because there is a lot of passion and all about business in this month so the Sagittarians are coming up and there's a lot of Sagittarians that are coming in to help you fire sign which is a wonderful wonderful experience and this is going to be good for um, you liberals okay so this month of September is going to be wonderful for you Sun rising liberals because you're going to be working with a planet of, of Neptune and the um, your sister sign the Aquarians and the Sagittarians uh, who are coming in to bring you a little luck as we move forward we are going to look at the people who were born um, um, and the moon sign the people who were born the moon sign and the moon sign is always people that were born in the night so let's see what planets are, are, are going to be working with the Librans uh, um, who was born in the night you have Mars so there is going to be career changes for a lot of you Librans in the month of September career changes and then we have the Gemini which is another sister sign that is coming in to work with um, you guys which is going to be um, extremely wonderful because if you look at this so if you were born in the night between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning you are going to be working with the planet of Mars and the planet of Mars is a planet of um, career changing is so Mars comes in and it's very aggressive it's going to take out and help you to see that you need to change your career and, and, and change for a different feel okay what is happening is that your sister signed the, the Gemini's are coming in to help you and which is very good and the Gemini's and the Virgos are going to help you to make you realize that it is time to change and you need to change a new career part in your life so this is very wonderful for the people who are the um, who were born in the night the lunar people because you are about to change your career and find your true part the Gemini's are one of your sister sign which is powerful and which is good which is going to come in and help you and the Virgos are positive because the Virgos have uh, the uh, the um, they begin the month of September and this is good because they will be supporting you in this month because this month is really going to be a month of changes for you guys okay the whole year 2017 so again I'm wishing each and every person out there um, a positive um, endeavor positive way of looking at uh, things in this month and I want to say to each and every person there's always a lesson to learn from every situation namaste until next month please remember to listen to the general readings and your Sun and moon rising sign it is very important to listen to the general readings because there can be other information that you haven't got in your personal reading listen to your Sun moon and rising sign please likes and share these videos and I'm saying um, namaste until next month